So now in this video, we're going to go over the resistor color code again. I'm going to try to do a better job than my last videos, which uh, are actually doing uh, okay. So in any case, we have a picture of a couple beige resistors here. They have four stripes. The blue resistors have five stripes. That's generally the way it goes. You may find uh, variations where it differs slightly. But uh, these uh, beige ones used to be really common. Now the blue ones seem to be really common. Uh, beige ones less common but the system works the same other than there's another stripe so as you can see each color has a number assigned to it and we can go into a lot more detail with this one so this may look more overwhelming at first really it's it's uh, not it's uh, good information to have and there you can see that so we'll come back to this one but uh, for now we're gonna stick with the uh, simple diagram there so you can see here that there's a stripe at uh, well both ends but one of the stripes is a tolerance and these beige ones makes it really easy to identify that stripe it is a gold stripe and uh, hopefully there's more distance between there but it doesn't look like it's the case with this one where there's more distance from the tolerance from the other stripes that's a big gap there here's a closer one so I don't find uh, that very useful but uh, there's only so many uh, so many different resistance is out there so usually it's pretty easy to tell which one's tolerance by the uh, other band so in any case the uh, gold one is really simple and so you start from the left and the first two are digits with the blue one the first three are digits but you can see here we can zoom in that uh, and we'll look at some blue ones coming up actual resistors so we have brown we can look that up that's one so that's really common hundred ohm thousand ohms a million ohms whatever a lot of them begin with one which uh, is kind of a problem with the blue ones their tolerance is usually one but usually from the other bands you can tell what uh, the value is so the next one is zero so that's black right there is zero so this is two digits plus a multiplier because it's four bands the blue one will be three digits plus a multiplier so the multiplier, so to make it easy, if you just have the standard colors, red is two. So that means you take these two numbers and add two more zeros after it. So one, zero, 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 so a thousand. This is a thousand ohm resistor right there. So now here we have uh, everything's the same color except for the first stripe. That is a two. So we have two, zero, and then red for two more zeros for 2000 ohms. So now I grabbed a beige 1 kilo ohm resistor may even be the one we see right there and a blue 1 kilo ohm resistor I took it out of the bag but here you can see that says 1k on there I got that from the make electronics kit each baggie marked the uh, resistance well I don't think they marked the paper I could be wrong but these uh, blue ones they came from that kit I showed you at the beginning with the color code written on it and their values are written on there and they also came in a baggie but the baggie wasn't marked so when I return them I look at the value on the paper there and then verify the colored stripes match the one I'm returning so you actually don't really need to learn the uh, color code plus you can measure the resistance with a multimeter but this video is going to focus on the color code so let's see if we can zoom in and uh, look at the stripes on these two one kilo ohm resistors so the camera can only zoom in and look at them so well but uh, this magnifier loop in addition to the camera does pretty nicely so you should be able to see if I don't block the light that we have brown black and red so brown for one black for zero and then red for the multiplier you could either think of it as two zeros or multiplying the first two digits by a hundred and then some of them are fractional but uh, the main colors are uh, the same as they normally are so red is two that's two zeros same as a hundred so now this is also a one kilo ohm resistor but it has four stripes for the for the uh, resistance and ohms for its value and then it has the tolerance to the right and so now we start with brown black black brown so one zero zero and then one for one more zero so one thousand now we have a brown stripe on that end and that end which 
may be a little bit annoying. It is pretty much impossible to tell which one is the tolerance one and which one is the digit. We took it out of the 1K package though, and so that made it pretty easy. But another thing is, the resistors tend to have certain values. And so, 11 or 110, 1100 are not common. But I don't even know if they exist really. I'm sure you can find them somewhere. But uh, it is common to have 1,000, 100, 100,000, 1 million. So if you see 100, zero, zero, or maybe it's 110, zero, it's, you're pretty much guaranteed it's actually 100. Zero, zero. And so once you start learning the common numbers, then it's pretty easy to tell which side is starting those numbers. So now I got a couple other resistors. As you can see, they're 220 ohms by looking at the packaging. That one doesn't look as good. That's either the start of an R or a line next to the R. It got cut off. They uh, wrote it in a few spots. So, you know, it's 220 ohms. And let's get these out of the way. They're kind of uh, distracting. But in uh, any case, we saw the 220 ohms there. Now we're going to look at the color code of the two different colored resistors. So again, the gold stripe goes to the right. That's pretty easy for these beige resistors. And then it's red for two, red for two, and then brown for one. So that's the multiplier. So that's one zero, or you can think of it as times ten. And uh, I just find it easier to uh, take that number and that's the number of zeros you add as a multiplier. So 220. So now again, 220 or 22 2 followed by 2, I should say, is a real common value. So we have 1 in each one of these kits. And uh, so we have red, red, so 2, 2, and then black is 0. 220, and then black for the fourth stripe, that is the multiplier. And so you can either think of it as times 1, or, so it's the same uh, value that you have from the three digits. So 220 times 1 is 220. Or you can think of it as zero zeros. There's no more zeros after the uh, digits that we have there. So 220, 220 ohms. And this kit, the uh, blue one, the beige one has a 2000 ohm resistor. The blue one I think only has a 2200 ohm resistor. So again, you see a pattern in uh, colored stripes right there. So 2 followed by 2 is really common. And so with these blue ones, it's uh, once you know the common numbers, as I said before, even though the tolerance is also a uh, common number of 1, usually you can tell by the series of uh, digits on there uh, which way you should start looking. But it does take a little practice. Now we're going to look at another interesting number combination and that's three followed by three. It is really common. As you can see both of these kits have a 330,000 ohm resistor and looking at the stripes here you can see with the uh, beige one we have orange orange yellow yellow is four so that's three three with four zeros after it 330,000. The blue LED so it has five stripes. Those are orange. They don't really look orange on camera. I don't think. Hopefully it looks better when it processes. But it's orange, orange, black. So three, three, zero. And then orange for three more zeros. 300,000. And uh, 330,000. So when uh, you get to the 100,000 of uh, ohms of resistance, it will be a yellow stripe for the beige one it will be an orange stripe for the orange one and every once in a while as I said three and three are a common value sometimes I have uh, maybe 330 ohms and a 33,000 ohm uh, resistor on the board for whatever reason I want a 330 ohm uh, resistor all of a sudden I'll notice it has an orange stripe right by the uh, tolerance band and I realized really quickly that's not 330 and so it's uh, you get used to uh, certain colors and then for the range of resistance that you use 
and then you really notice that when you go to grab that one you don't have the right one so you don't have to memorize it just being familiar with the colored stripes and especially the ones that you use the most will help you make uh, prevent you from making mistakes in the future so now we're gonna look at an interesting resistance value so this is 47 ohms 47 and uh, that's it so we have a problem uh, these low value resistors I only have them in the blue and so they have five stripes of course one is the tolerance we have three digits and a multiplier 47 is only two digits so we will take a look at that so to begin with that is yellow for four right there you can see it and then the next one is violet it looks blue on camera but it's violet four and seven are common numbers after each other uh, 470 ohms I've made tons of videos with 470 ohm resistors when I was using 9 volts now that I'm using 5 volts I generally stick with 220 but usually 470 will work fine too so 4 and 7 are uh, they're commonly together and so in any case now we have the black stripe there for 0 so we would think 470 but when you look at the multiplier for gold it is 0.01 and effectively what that does is take away a uh, zero so we got 470 but then you take away that zero you multiply it by 0 0.1 you get 47 so that's how that works and I don't have any beige resistors under uh, 100 ohms and uh, so all I have is the blue ones but there you can see now we have a gold stripe it's not the tolerance, it's still 1% tolerance, it's at the multiplier, right there. And uh, silver, it gets even smaller. So now, we're going to look at a 5.6 ohm resistor. And instead of the omega symbol for ohms on these, they've been using R. So, like a 56 ohm resistor would say 56R on most of these. And so, what they do, instead of a decimal point, which you might not be able to read on there, they take the R and they substitute it uh, where the decimal point is. So that is saying 5.6. You see that on data sheets and stuff, or uh, on uh, schematics a lot, because the the uh, decimal point doesn't always show up, and uh, so they'll use the uh, letter for its placement. But in any case, that's 5.6 ohms of resistance. We're going to look at that. So that's two colors we haven't addressed yet. Five is green and six is blue. And let's take a look at the colors. So the blue is not even showing up so uh, I think it is in person but but not on camera but in uh, any case we have blue there and uh, green blue black and uh, other than that blue not showing up which makes sense so it's a blue resistor uh, the colors are looking pretty good so we have silver now so silver is a multiplier 0 0.01 so we can't really take away two zeros on this one because it's a digit uh, we have blue for six so it's just moving the decimal point over two spots to the left so we got five six zero five hundred and sixty move the decimal point uh, two places to the left you'll have five point six and that's what it is ohms of resistance so with these with uh, gold and silver uh, it's better to know the uh, multiplier but they're they're not really common values and so just taking this number that will be the number of zeros uh, I think is simplest but whatever works for you you could also go by the multiplier which this shows right there so this is the kit that I got these all these blue resistors I showed you out of it was this kit it has the color code right on there as I said before well I would like the plastic to be labeled but you can see pretty clearly on most of them the value on the paper there so that's that's not bad there it's written there and like if I didn't know the uh, value of this I didn't want to do that I would just uh, look through the different resistors and find the exact same color and then put it in the bag there that's that's normally what I do anyways but uh, in any case we covered uh, pretty much every number except for uh, gray and white uh, but they're they're not common so uh, it's the same process though so basically just get a resistor kit like this one this one has a ton of values I think it goes up to 10 million ohms and down to 1 ohm 
and so a wide range of values as I said before uh, certain numbers pop up I don't know if 5 and 6 do I don't usually deal with uh, anything 5 and 6 and uh, so but there's a lot of patterns and so you quickly pick up the patterns and stuff it's it's not uh, too bad and then also with our resistors you can measure them with a multimeter and if you just have random ones sitting around that would be the quickest just line them up and put the two probes on there and read what the resistance is that the uh, meter tells you and you can uh, go by that as I said before though they have a tolerance and so the uh, blue ones you can expect to be 1% higher or lower so it's not going to give you probably 5.6 it might be 5.6 and a little more or 5.5 and almost 5.6 so be aware of that too uh, there's there's the tolerance but uh, in any case hopefully that all made sense this uh, video is probably about as long as it should be so thanks for sticking around this long and uh, I will see you in the next video